study now chapter 1 applications of matrices and determinants before going to fire, see applications of matrix and determinants we shall see what is an inverse of a matrix inverse of a matrix is denoted by a inverse where a inverse is equal to 1 by determinant of a in the adjoint of a where a is non-singular non-singular means determinant of a is not equal to 0 and adjoint of a is nothing but cofactor of a transpose or transpose of a transpose of a uh, if we are given matrix if you if you, if you, if you want to get the a transpose means you have to change all the rows into columns in a given matrix a now we shall see how to find a inverse by an example let us consider 2 into 2 matrix consider 2 into 1 that means you must have 2 rows and 2 columns find the inverse find the inverse find the inverse if it exists if it exists inverse exists only if determinant of a is not equal to 0 for before finding before you, you use the formula for a inverse you see whether determinant of a is not equal to 0 if determinant of a is not equal to 0 then only you can find out a inverse but find the inverse if it exists we shall consider 2 by 2 matrix let a is equal to minus 2 my 4 1 minus 3 what is the formula for a inverse formula is a inverse is equal to 1 by determinant of a and adjoint of a adjoint of a this is the formula for a inverse for first we need step 1 step 1 you find out determinant of a value and step 2 you find out adjoint of a for step 1 step 1 find determinant of a you are already studied in lamp standard how to find the determinant value of a given matrix for determinant of a is equal to replace this bracket and put a lines minus 2 4 1 minus 3 you know how to find out the determinant value of 2 into 2 matrix first di diagonally you multiply the elements first diagonal element is minus 2 into minus 3 is 6 and 1 into 4 is 4 and then you have to subtract subtract the diagonal after multiplying the diagonal elements subtract for you are getting 6 minus 4 this is nothing but 2 therefore we have got determinant of a is equal to 2 now step 2 you have to find adjoint of a and step 2 step 2 you have to find adjoint of a adjoint of a and there is one shortcut method to find out adjoint of a adjoint of a is nothing but change the elements in the first elements of the first diagonal elements here in the first diagonal element you have minus 2 and minus 3 you interchange the place therefore minus 3 and minus 2 you have to interchange the place of places minus 2 and minus 3 and then the second diagonal element that you have 1 and 4 you change the sign for you for 4 you have plus sign and 1 you have plus sign if we change the sign means this will become minus and this will become minus therefore minus 4 and minus 1 for what you have done first the first diagonal elements first diagonal or main diagonal first diagonal diagonal change the place interchange Interchange the elements, change the elements, or interchange the elements. Interchange, interchange the elements, the numbers, the elements. This is first step. And the second step, and second diagonal. 
second diagonal change the sign change the sign main diagonal elements you have interchanged here you have minus 2 and minus 3 after interchanging here you will get minus 3 and here you will get minus 2 and second diagonal elements you are changing the sign so already you have plus sign for both so if we change the sign means this will become minus and this will become minus double minus 1 and minus 4 for now you have found out what, what values you require for a inverse determinant of a value and adjoint of a value determinant of a you have found out 2 and adjoint of a value you have found out therefore you have to divide it therefore a inverse is equal to therefore a inverse is equal to write the formula 1 by determinant of a into adjoint of a into adjoint of a what is the value of determinant of a 1 by 2 1 by 2 into what is the value of adjoint of a minus 3 minus 3 minus 4 minus 1 and minus 2 see we have seen how to find out a inverse or inverse of a matrix for 2 by 2 matrix now we shall see how to find inverse of a matrix for 3 by 3 matrix In exercise 1.1, first, second sum, subdivision 2. Find the inverse. Find the inverse. Find the inverse. If we take this, if we take this, that means determinant of A is not equal to 0. If we take this, let A is equal to let A is equal to the given matrix 5, 1, 1, 1, 5, 1, 1, 1, 5. This is called 3 by 3 matrix because you have 3 rows and 3 columns. We know that A inverse is equal to 1 by determinant of A into adjoint of A. We are going to apply this formula here. For this, first we shall find step 1, we shall find out determinant of A. Determinant of A. Step 1. Determinant of A. Within two vertical lines, you have to put determinant. So, determinant, replace the bracket and write line. Vertical line. Draw vertical line. 5, 1, 1, 1, 5, 1. 1, 1, 5. 5 into, what is the sign of 5? Plus. Sign of 1 is minus. Sign of uh, this in the last number is plus. For 5 into. And in your mind, delete these entries. First row, 5 lies along first row and in the first column. For in your mind, delete the entries. That is 5, 1, 1, 1 and first row elements and first row, first column elements. And what are left? 5, 1, 1, 5. That means 2 by 2 matrix you have, 2 by 2 determinant. For you know how to calculate 2 by 2 determinant. Diagonally you multiply. But diagonally multiply the elements. 5 5 sir, 25. And 1 1 sir, 1. 25 minus 1. What is the sign of 1? Minus. Minus 1 in 2. And 1 lies along first row and along first second column. For in your mind, delete these entries. 5, 1, 1 and 5, 1. What are left? 1, 1, 1, 5. And uh, diagonally multiply. 1, 5, sir, 5. Minus 1, 1, sir, 1. Now what is the sign of 1 plus? 
plus 1 in the this one lies along first row and along third column and delete in your mind these entries and what are left 1 5 1 1 diagonally multiply 1 1 so 1 1 5 so 5 therefore this is nothing but 5 in the 25 minus 1 is 24 minus 1 into 4 and plus 1 into minus 4 that is 120 minus 4 minus 4 that is 112 for your found out determinant value of a step 1 over now we have to find a joint of A. For 3 by 3 matrix also, you have one shortcut method to find out a joint of A. We shall see that shortcut method. Shortcut method. What is the given matrix? A is equal to 5, 1, 1, 1, 5, 1, 1, 1, 5. What is A transpose? A transpose is change rows into columns. So along first row you have these entries 5, 1, 1. Write it in column 5, 1, 1. Second row entries are 1, 5, 1. Now write it as second column. Write it in second column. 1, 5, 1. And what are the entries in third column? 1, 1, 5. Write it as third column. For 1, 1, 5. For your return rows into columns. You are changing rows into columns. Now, adjunct of A is nothing but cofactor of A. Cofactor of A transpose. Now, what you do is write the given matrix 5, 1, 1, 1, 5, 1, 1, 1, 5. And here, Repeat the first two columns. First two columns means you have 5, 1, 1, 1, 5, 1. Repeat. So 5, 1, 1, 1, 5, 1. And what you have in first two rows? 5, 1, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 1. And again repeat at the bottom. 5, 1, 1, 5, 1, 1, 5, 1, 1, 5. What you do is, in your mind, delete these numbers. First row and first column elements. Now, what you have to do is, diagonally multiply this. 5, 5, so, now for that is nothing but adjoint of A is equal to 5 fives are 25. Multiply this diagonal elements and subtract. 1 1 so 1. 25 minus 1. For 1 is over. Now same way you do it for this also. Here also you have 2 into 2 matrix. 1 into 1 and 1 fives so are 5. For 1 minus 5. And here 1 1 so 1 and 1 5 is 5. Therefore, 1 minus 5. For first row over. Now come here. Second row, consider these two rows. And 1 1 is 1. 1 minus 1 5 is 5. 1 minus 5. Now 5 5 is 25. 25 minus 1 1 star 1 25 minus 1 
Now one one sa one one minus five one five sa five. Same way, repeat the same procedure for down for these two rows. One one sa one one minus five. After multiplying diagonal elements, you have to subtract. One one sa one one minus five. Minus five and five five sa twenty five. One one sa This first row elements, first column elements, and first row elements you have to delete in your mind. And only for the other two elements, my, my diagonal you multiply and subtract, and you will get a joint of it. But this is very easy method, and you can use it also. Even for example, also you can use the same method. For so this is equal to the for a joint of A is equal to twenty four. Minus four, minus four, minus four, twenty-four, minus four, minus four, minus four, twenty-four. The for a inverse, inverse of a is equal to one by determinant of a. In the adjoint of it, so is equal to determinant of a. You got as one by other than twelve. The adjoint of a value is twenty-four minus four minus four minus four twenty-four minus four minus four minus four twenty-four. So is equal to one by. Now what is common here? Four is common. You can take outside. Four divided by hundred and twelve. Four is common. You are taken out. Therefore, six minus one minus one minus one six minus one minus one. Minus one six, and here four goes. How many times? One by thirty twenty eight. And write all the given matrix. This is one. This is twenty eight. Here, so they can write like this. Twenty-eight. Before we are seeing how to find the inverse for three by two matrix and for two by two matrix.